It's time to start the playoffs here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We come to win. Have fun. Trigger green. Welcome to NASCAR Trackside Live! Las Vegas Motor Speedway is not disappointing. I love it out here. Get on out here, Kyle Busch! Check the flag right here, Vegas. Joey Logano scores his first win. Yeah, baby! Let's get it! Driver of the number 22, Joey Logano! Three in a row in Vegas. Cha-ching, baby! Nice job! Great job, everybody! Heck yeah! My name's Amy Long. So fantastic to be out here with all of you, the fans in Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Never disappoints. We've got a killer show for you. Remember, you can always watch all of our shows on NASCAR.com. And what's up to everyone on NASCAR.com? Also, get engaged with us. Follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, at NASCAR Trackside. we got tons of giveaways. You can watch all of our driver interviews back. We have a grand time. And... We've got a great show today, too, to kick off the playoffs. That's right. The playoffs are here. Are you guys excited about the playoffs? Yeah. Oh, man. It just makes everything more exciting. And two of the drivers in the playoffs on our show today. And Eric Jones is one of them. Eric Jones, man, he is hot right now. He's coming on strong. But he's only four points away from that cutoff. So he's going to have to have a great race today. Now, of course, he's got that win at the Southern 500. But... He needs another one. So, Eric Jones, what do you think? Is he going to do well in the playoffs? We're looking forward to hearing how he thinks he's going to do. Also looking forward to hearing what Kyle Larson thinks about his chances. You think he's going to be great? I think he's going to be great, too. He's got 12 top 10s this season already. He just needs that one win. It could happen here today in Vegas. Jose, who else have we got on the show today? So today joining us will be Eric Jones, Kyle Larson, Austin Dillon, Dave Portnoy for Barstool Sports, and they are sponsoring the number 95 of Matt Benedetto here as well. A great show. We can't wait to kick it off for you guys. Remember, you can watch this on NASCAR.com, so we hope to see you guys out there. Fans, are you guys ready for the show? Help me to welcome out Southern 500 champion Eric Jones. Welcome. Good to see you. Got a few giveaways there for you. Of course, Eric Jones tossing out a few things there. It looks like he's done this before. Oh, he's got some of those poker chips, too. Feeling lucky, everyone, right? <laughs> hey, Eric. How you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Great. Yeah, it's we're doing awesome. Always good to have you on NASCAR Trackside Live. Yeah, it's good. It's, uh, it's nice under the shade here. It's a little <laughs> toasty out, but it feels good right here. It sure. does feel good here right now. Yeah, it's, it's going to be warm today, but it's going to make the racing interesting, I think. Uh, I, I know qualifying was interesting, you know, the other races here, but this one I think is going to kind of cap off the weekend and be a wild one to watch. Yeah, I think so. It's... Uh, you know, practice was kind of a challenge with how hot it was on uh, on Friday and, and getting the feel for the car. And not only that, but, you know, with the time we're starting the race here later today at 4 o'clock, the sun's kind of going to be down in turn 1 and 2 and a little bit up in 3 and 4. So it's it's made for a challenge to, to get our car driving how we really want it to. And I don't know that anybody was, was necessarily standing out. So it's going to be close. It's going to be a tough race in general just uh, for a lot of reasons. But definitely the heat's going to play a part in it. Yeah, I don't think Las Vegas Motor Speedway ever disappoints. We're all looking forward to a good show tonight, right, guys? So I have to ask, though, where's my main man, Oscar? I he saw is he here. was out here. <laughs> yeah, he's here. He, uh, so Oscar's my dog, for those that don't know. Um, he made the trip. He, he hasn't uh, been to Vegas before, I don't think. So he's out, and uh, he, he's not a big fan. It's a little hot for, uh, for Oscar out here, but he's, uh, he's enjoying himself, and 
He's been out here a while. We came out. He had to come out early. We've been here since uh, Wednesday. So he's been extended trip. He's a big winner out here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. sure. <laughs> he like can him. be. Tell him I said hi, and he's a good I boy. Will. Well, I will. How's he doing on that bone? Because he was actually on our show. We gave him this gigantic dinosaur femur bone. Has he ch- yeah. chewed his way through it yet? Most of it. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, so we keep it up at my shop, and he, uh, you know, I take him up there a lot, and uh, he, he chews on it up there. That thing was kind of... Uh, a little greasy, so I didn't want to really put it in the house, so I let him make a mess there. Yeah. Nice. Well, you've been having a lot of fun out here also. Burnouts on the boulevard, I mean, that was very cool to see, and some great photos out of that, too. How was it? Yeah, it's always cool. Um, you know, my second year doing it, being in the playoffs, and, and such a neat experience, you know, coming down to Vegas and, and getting to do the burnouts, and uh, unfortunately, the last year for us doing it, so moving the banquets to Nashville, uh, but I think we're going to continue the burnouts there. But definitely it doesn't get any cooler than doing it right there on the strip. You get to block off traffic, go and do the burnouts right in the big intersection. So uh, that's definitely a memory I won't, uh, I won't forget and definitely a pretty cool story to tell. Yeah, can, can you hear the fans when you're in there? Because the fans are, you know, 360 basically all around, yelling and screaming and cheering as you're, you know, just lighting the whole place up with smoke. Can you hear them cheering out there for you? Yeah, we can. I mean, uh, especially when we stop and along the side, you know, the whole drive down there, we got fans and, and people lined up along the side of the road uh, calling out and saying, hey, and what's up? And uh, some aren't very happy to see, I guess, you know, <laughs> not everybody's a fan, but, uh, you know, it is cool. I mean, it's cool to see how many people come out and, you know, maybe even some people out there on the strip that probably don't have a clue what's going on, but they're probably going to tune into the race now after that. Sometimes I think the the better driver you are, the more non-fans you hit. So it could yeah. be a good thing, right? Yeah, sure. Hey, you know, yeah. as long as they're making noise, they know who you are, right? Yeah, absolutely. So Any press is good press. You can't make everybody happy at the end of the day. That's true. It's true. Are you enjoying your time in Vegas, though? What else have you been up to? Yeah, I've uh, I've taken it pretty easy. I haven't really done a lot out here in Vegas this week. I, I spent uh, Wednesday night downtown. We got in late and, and didn't do a whole lot. Just went out to dinner and called it a night. Um, but it's been pretty laid back. I've been staying at the track the last few nights and haven't, you know, haven't done a lot. Just kind of resting up. Just the time of the year that it's time to, you know, focus and 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 do things right. And uh, just been trying to get as really as much rest as I can and, and hydration. I knew this was going to be a tough weekend with with how hot it is here and and how dry it is. Number one, um, trying to get hydrated. So just been trying to get prepared for the race really. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, about Darlington the Southern 500 win. Uh, that was awesome. I know you were so excited about it, but we think one of the secrets to that win was that slice of pizza that you had during <laughs> the rain delay. And so we thought, fans, maybe we would go ahead and recreate that. If you're up for it, <laughs> we have a slice of pizza. What do you think could it increase his oh, chances man. of win here? We're just they got, thought it might be a lucky I, charm. I tell you what, that sounds. Not as great when it's 103 <laughs> degrees outside. <laughs> it was a lucky charm, though, at Darlington. I mean, it worked for me. I don't know if I can eat this, though. You know, that that we, looks like it's going to be rough. We can package this up. <laughs> Maybe and, we'll and, save and that. We can do it to go. go. We'll yeah. save that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a little to go. Here, I'll take it. To Amy. go. There we yeah. go. We'll, t- we'll take. Yeah, this is definitely the good luck is in there. So. You know, people were worried about that when I posted it. And I was like, I, you know, I'm really, I think I'm going to be okay. I kind of know. You know my body and what I can put into it, what I can't. But uh, yeah, it was great. I was I was starving. We started that race at what? It's like 10:30. 10, yeah. Yeah. So at 500 miles that late in the night, you're gonna need some something in you. For sure, for sure. So we, how late did the party last then afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we got home. Uh, it was about six in the morning when we got back to my house after you know victory lane and everything is is a couple hours and everything after. So. Uh, we drove down there and uh, drove home, and, and we went to bed uh, about 6 o'clock the next night. <laughs> so, nice. uh, yeah, it was a good party. It was fun. I had, you know, a lot of people in town, actually. A lot of friends uh, and family from Michigan came down. Uh, my mom was actually there for this win, so oh, that was awesome. cool. Yeah. Uh, she wasn't there for the first one, and, and so it was nice to have everybody there and get to celebrate. That was a, that was a fun day. That is fun. And I thought it was really great this time how they waited until the last minute because the stands were packed, too, which was really neat. Yeah, Darlington always gets such a great turnout. That's that's turned into such a cool weekend. You know, the, the, the Southern 500 in itself is such a neat race uh, for the sport and the history, and, and with the throwback element they've put in it, having it back on Labor Day, it's, it's really a, a pretty neat race that we get to do. For 
pressure. And then this to follow it up. I mean, Las Vegas fans, you don't disappoint either. Give it, for, give it up for yourselves. They're definitely a rowdy bunch out here. <laughs> it makes it fun, though. But we were talking earlier about the playoffs, and they have all these banners around here with the photos on them. And actually, yours, if you look right behind us, is right over there by Victory Lane. There it is. So there's your photo waving in the breeze. And that looks we, good. we were commenting on it how every single one of these drivers looks like they're angry. Like, do they direct you in that photo shoot to, like, okay, look angry, Except look tough? Ryan Newman. He looks well. <laughs> Like, uh, you know, steel going on. they tell you to give a serious face, and I don't really have that serious of a face. Like, I'm usually smiling most of the time, so I, uh, I don't know. I struggle with the serious face. It looks just like my normal walk-around face. Brad, he always squints his eyes and makes that face when he – I've noticed that. There's, everyone has their own little face, right? They make for the serious. They tell you to look serious, and that's what you get. That's what you get. And do they position your arms perfectly, too? Yeah, they tell us. No, they feeling. tell us exactly what to do. It's, yeah, it's, it's a production. If you could rate all of these photos, who do you think has the best, and who do you think has the uh, least intimidating? I mean, <laughs> I don't think anybody <laughs> looks that intimidating. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I – that's the right I, answer. <laughs> I think they all, uh, it's just funny looking at them because you know it's just they're telling them what to do, right? <laughs> I was there too, so uh, it is what it is, I guess. It's part of the deal, right? Yeah. They got to take your picture. Yeah. Yeah, I love to hear, because I've been in a couple of the photo shoots, you know, where they're telling drivers, and some drivers are not as easygoing about it. I'm not looking at Ryan Newman, but I kind of am looking <laughs> at Ryan Newman, like right now. <laughs> you know, the trick is the better you do, the quicker you're out of there, right? Like I used to give, I used to give him a really hard time just because I was like, I don't want to do this. Like this isn't what I really signed up for. Um, and then one day, you know, I was telling Kyle that actually, and he's like, "Dude, if you just do it right and do what they're saying, you get out of here quicker." And I'm like, "Well, that, you know what? That makes sense." <laughs> so, ever since then, I just do what they want, and mm -hmm. things move a lot better. Yeah, and he he knows a thing or two about that, right? Kyle's done it for a few years yeah, now. Exactly. Yeah, he, he kind of knows how the system works, and he's got a good plan. Yeah, so let's talk about uh, the fact that all of your teammates are in the playoffs as well. Do you guys, is this a moment in, in the schedule when you start to talk more? Or is it when you start to talk less and kind of do your own thing? What, what do you do as a team? Well, I think, I don't think you change the plan. You know, it's, uh, it's really cool we're all in the playoffs. It's been a few years since JGR's had every car in the playoffs. And uh, uh, cool to be a part of that. And, and it's, it's a testament to our our teams, really. I mean, we've had great cars. It's some of the fastest cars I've had um, all through my career, really, and um, counting trucks and Xfinity, everything. So really cool to be with them. Really, our communication stayed the same. You know, I mean, I've been talking just as much to the crew chiefs and other drivers, and we've had our same team meetings after practice and, and obviously during the week on Mondays. And, uh, you know, we just keep with it. We want the goal is to get us all four to Homestead, right? And, and, and from there, we're going to race for it. And a little bit more of the best man wins at Homestead. You know, you kind of you, you go for it a little bit more there. But the goal right now is to get us all there. And uh, so that's why we keep the communication open. Yeah, so in those meetings, who's the one that's the uh, chatty Kathy, the driver that's talking the most? <laughs> it depends. Um, I would say Denny and Kyle definitely talk the most. You know, it depends what they – uh, what, what we got going on, but Denny and Kyle talk the most for sure and what they've got. Me and Martin are pretty pretty quick unless there's something, you know, that really stands out, I guess, that we need to either do better or, or some other team seems to be doing. Um, but most of the time, honestly, the, the competition meetings this year have been the quickest I've ever been a part of. Uh, most of them last like 35 minutes just because really our car's been good and, and we haven't had a lot to complain about as drivers. That's so a good thing, but... Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking sometimes when you don't feel like you're getting better or working on things. So uh, it goes both ways. Well, one final question for you. Um, Gas Monkey Garage, I know, is, is on your ride this weekend. And we've had Richard Rawlings on the show, actually. Yeah, Richard's a cool guy. Um, he's here. Is he here running around somewhere? I don't know where he's yeah. at, but I think he's here. So, so <laughs> as a sponsor on the car, do, does he – talk to you like do you guys text back and forth is there communication that goes on I'm curious. <laughs> um I no I don't I'm not that close with him I know him I mean I've met him a few times we so he's he's been doing stuff with craftsmen since since um 
Stanley purchased Craftsman and relaunched the brand and, and, and has their deal now. Uh, he's been on board. So I met him last year at, a, at the launch deal they did. Um, and I, I haven't seen him since then. So uh, I'll see him today. He's, he's coming out to the race and he'll be here. Uh, so that's cool. I mean, he's, he's obviously really big in, in the car community and has, has created such a big brand. It's cool to have somebody represented like that. And, and uh, I think he interlines pretty well with the Craftsman brand, too. So it's, it's something that's pretty neat. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Well, I'm sure he's looking forward to a good show. We're looking for, yes. forward to a good show today. Yeah. Eric, thank you so much for joining yep. us here at NASCAR Trackside Live. Good luck today. Thank you, thank you, you have a good guys. Time. Thank you. Appreciate it. One more time. Big round of applause for Eric Jones. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. Well, Fans, you know what? let's keep this show on the road and welcome up our next guest driver of the number 42, Kyle Larson. Oh, Kyle's doing the side throw. Nice. I like that. <laughs> Did you get it? Was uh -oh. that a no? That face tells me it's a no. <laughs> oh, that was a nice shot. Oh, and he's got a couple of our limited edition poker chips there for NASCAR Trackside Live. Throwing it to the fan with the Kyle there Larson go. shirt. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, welcome. How are you guys? Doing awesome. How are you? Good, good. Uh... Vegas has been fun. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I feel like I've been here a minute, too. Yeah. Just yeah. a minute. Yeah, we got here. I got here Wednesday night, and uh, we've uh, been up late every night but one. So I'm ready to get back on Eastern time and uh, get, get back used to waking up early. Yes. I noticed the drivers wear their sunglasses here a lot more. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, the sun's out. I mean, it's not, there's not a cloud in the sky. That's why. Yeah. I think he's saying the late nights. But, yeah, yeah. But okay. We'll go with the sun. We'll yeah, go it's with the sun. The sun. Yeah, <laughs> For yeah, sure. Yeah. What have you been up to? What have you been doing? What's your favorite thing to do when you come to Las Vegas? Uh, this has probably been the most fun Vegas trip I've had. Um, Caitlin and the kids are at home, so I took advantage of, uh, of going out with the guys and, and having a good time here. So we've been to some clubs. We saw 50 Cent on Saturday nice. night, uh, nice. Drake last night. So um it's been it's been fun, but like I said, I'm I'm ready to get back and uh, chill out. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And then you've got you know the South Point 400 today to get through as well, so that makes it a long week. I know. Yeah, it's uh it's been a it's been a weird week. I feel like we haven't been at the track very much. You know, the schedule is is different this time around, and uh, everything starts later this week. So that also promotes going, going out. out. So um, <laughs> I haven't. Uh, it's been, yeah, like I said, it's been weird. I feel like we haven't spent, spent much time at all here. Well, we're, ha we're glad you're here today. I'm here. Thanks for showing up. Ready to work. <laughs> Ready to work. <laughs> yeah, and you've, you've got some work to do. I mean, you made it to the playoffs, but a win would really help seal the deal, huh? Yeah, yeah, I feel like we've been uh, really close lately. Um, until uh, Friday, we weren't great in practice, but we've, we've changed a bunch of stuff on our car, and um, hopefully, hopefully we've hit on some things. It'll drive a little bit better today. Um, it's going to be hot and slick and uh, a lot of fun. So hopefully we can have a good enough car we can move around and, and get to the front. Yeah. I know Vegas um, has some special memories for you. And one of them, you actually tweeted out. And we've got that photo. It was of you as a kid standing in front of the number zero. Uh, that is Peter Murphy's ride. And then in 2013, you got a chance to race that number zero. That's pretty special. Yeah, yeah. It's uh you know, it's very special because, you know, Maury Williams, uh, the guy to my left, uh, he had just passed away this week. And, and um, so, yeah, that was the only time I got to run his car. And we ran here at Vegas, I think, yeah, 2013. Um, had, a, had a shot to win, but started running out of fuel on the last lap and lost the lead. So, um, wish I could have got a win for, for him. Um, but it was, it was cool to get to run a famed car like that. You know, he's been a car owner forever, and uh, we'll, we'll, you know, greatly miss him. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Well said. Yeah. Good tribute. Thanks. Thanks. And I also saw that you did one of your last dirt races of the season recently as well, right before you hit Vegas, too. How did that go for you? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this week on Wednesday, um, I raced the World Outlaw Race at Placerville as well as my midget that night. And um, midget, midget went good. Uh, there wasn't many cars, but... Uh, we were able to win that, and then the, the sprint car race, I was just off kind of all night, but uh, spun out early and then came for the back and, and got back to seventh, so 
Um, pass a lot of cars, but uh, you know we go we go to win races when we run dirt, and uh, was disappointed I didn't get to win as much as I typically do uh, in that stuff this year. But um, as always, have a lot of fun racing dirt, and uh, but now we'll focus on the NASCAR stuff for these final ten races, and then as soon as we're done at Homestead, I'll fly to uh, Southern California and uh, do some more racing. Yeah. You know, uh, Yes, I know. We're excited to see more racing. I know. It's going to be fun. Well, we talked this time of year about playoffs, and we were talking about the banners that we have set up around here. Of course, all the playoff drivers have their banners here all the way around. And we were looking at the photos. You're right behind you over there, and how everybody looks very serious and angry and like they want to win, you know? Is that directed? What was the photo shoot like to get your photo and uh, get that look out of you? <laughs> So when I was, like, new to NASCAR, you know, you do these photo shoots. I heard Eric talking. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah, they tell you, you know, smile, don't smile, give a smirk. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I used to, like, I don't, I don't smirk. So I'm like, all right, I guess I will. And then I remember, you know, watching the races on TV and, and you know, my face would come up. And I'm like, God, I look so stupid. <laughs> so uh, I, don't, I don't smirk anymore. I don't make an angry face. I don't, you know scrunch my forehead or, or eyebrows or anything like that. I just, when they tell me to be serious, I just stand there and, and just don't, I just don't smile. So Indifferent look. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I'd, I enjoy smiling more uh, so than that. But it's NASCAR and, and they think uh, they think they want us to look tough. But yeah. uh, none of us are tough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, some of, the, some of them, they take it very seriously, apparently. But. Yeah, Joey, Joey and Brad, I think, take everything extra serious. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, what do, what do you think about Joey's photo over there? Joey, I, he's he's intimidating me a little bit, just staring <laughs> right at me. But uh, but he's not he's not that intimidating. No, no, he's try, he's doing the like peering through your soul. Yeah. Look yeah I, now I'm now now I feel awkward because everybody's staring at me. So. Everybody's <laughs> looking at us. We're like in the haunted mansion right now. I feel like everybody's eyeballs are following yeah. us. It's it pretty great. Though. I like that they do stuff like this. It's special for the playoffs, and I just really enjoy it. And I love that Vegas is one of the first races of playoffs. Do you agree, or do you enjoy Vegas being one of the first? Oh, uh, well, I, I'm, you know, I'm not from Vegas, but I'm from the West Coast. So, yeah, I love, I love getting to come out here. And, uh, I mean, Vegas is the most fun city we probably get to go to throughout the season. So, yeah, I think it's a great, uh, a great place to kick off the playoffs and, and get it pumped up, get the media day and all that. So, um, yeah, Vegas, Vegas for sure is the first race. is a great one. I don't, I don't know. I think the schedule changes next year, but uh, yeah, I love, uh, I love coming out here, out here to Vegas, especially for the you know kick off the playoffs. Yeah. All right, so meal time. We've talked with a couple of other drivers about some of their favorite meals. What, what, what do you like to eat when you come out here? What are some of your favorite foods you enjoy? I've had Javier's uh, three times already this week <laughs> and uh, in the Aria. I'm stay I stayed at the Aria, and I love Mexican food, and um, that's the best Mexican food on this planet. Uh, so, yes, I've, I love Javier's, and um, their chips and salsa is the best. Um, I wish I could take, like, a bucket full of the salsa home with me, but... I can't, so um, that's why I load up. I load up on Javier's when I'm out here. You can check a bag, you know. I know. Well, I as I was out here to test um, a couple years ago, and uh, I asked if I could you know, buy some salsa to go, and they said no. So because um, I wanted to bring chips and salsa to the track yeah. that I could you know, eat all day, but um, <laughs> they didn't let me. Nice. Yeah, Javier, if you're watching, we need to hook this guy up with some chips and salsa. <laughs> I, I think, to go. yes, to go, if we can as make that As much happen. chips and salsa as you can send to North Carolina. <laughs> I am a huge fan of chips and salsa, actually. And yes. Javier's, I can attest, is fantastic. Maybe they just don't want you to know all the secret ingredients. I, I wish, yeah, I wish I could, like, just learn the recipe. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, anytime, anytime I eat or make salsa or, or eat any other salsa, it doesn't taste nearly as good as Javier's. Yeah. I'm going right. to work on this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Figure it out for me, please. So, so do you like to cook at all? Do you cook no. yourself? No. no, 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 I can't cook. I, I eat out uh, most every night. Caitlin, she'll, she gets on like a health kick every now and then, and, and she'll cook for like two weeks straight and then take like four months off. But uh, <laughs> she's probably mad if she's watching. But, um, yeah, she, uh, she's more – she can cook. She's a good cook, but 
we just are too lazy, I think, to do the dishes and, and prep. And, you know, we're the type, like, when, we're, when we get hungry, it, we're hungry and we need to eat right now. Yeah. And uh, so we can't, we can't go through, like, the hour and a half of prep and all that. You both get a little hangry, huh? Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. I, she likes to eat early, too, so um, she gets hangrier earlier than I do. I'm usually not ready to eat dinner yet, um, but... But yeah, she she wants to, she she like to eat dinner at like five o'clock, but uh, that's too early for me. Early bird special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that way she can go to bed early too. Yeah. Why why is that? Because it's the same way with my wife Shannon and I. She likes to eat like she's got to eat. Like if she doesn't eat, it's bad news. And I I'm like, no, dinner should be at like nine o'clock at night. You know, late. Well, I don't understand. I'm like, do a late dinner, right? Yeah, that's why I've been FaceTiming her. You know, every night here, and and gosh, we won't get dinner here until like. We had dinner reservations like 9.15 at SDK the other night, and she's like, I'm, I'm going to be asleep for three hours by the time you guys eat dinner. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I, I do, I would rather eat dinner, I, I would say, earlier than, than later. Um, but out in Vegas, I mean, you're not really trying to go to sleep early, so you right. could push everything back a little bit. But at home, you know, we got the kids, and uh, you're, their bedtime's like 8.30, so... Um, and then we're all up at like 6, 6.30, so it's good to get an early dinner when you're at home. For sure. How is Owen? How's Owen? Yeah, how's Owen? He's good. He's good. He's, uh, I mean, he's redhead, so he's wild. But, um, <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's doing good. He's a lot of fun, going to preschool, uh, learning a lot of stuff, um, getting close to the age where maybe he can get a go-kart if he, if he matures a little bit more. But, uh, no, he's, he's a lot of fun to have around. Him and Cash, um... Got to go to the, uh, there's like a exotic kind of petting zoo in North Carolina. So I went there um, yesterday. Yeah, I think yesterday. Um, so yeah, they had a lot of fun with that. He had a, a field trip to pick apples. Um, so he had fun with that. And then Audrey, our daughter, she's doing good. She's, um, she's crazy also. <laughs> she's not redhead yet, but she's crazy. Um, That's just but a yeah, she's thing. a She's a massive daddy's girl she loves me the most so i like that oh, that's cool man that's cool they're both adorable tell them i say hi please. yeah i will so I will. W so one final question i know we got a lot of vegas locals here i know you got a chance to go hang out with the las vegas golden knights right a couple weeks ago yeah golden knight fans out there what uh what was that experience like that looked really cool yeah yeah it was fun um getting to hang out and, and freeze my toes off <laughs> on the ice a little bit uh yeah i didn't i just had my driving shoes on and uh so yeah that was it was cool i noticed driving out here today they're the night's first game i think today or, or one of and um traffic was was really bad so um it's cool that you know the fans there are pumped to get to the get the season kicked off and um but honestly i'm i'm more of a sharks fan oh. so uh but credit one <laughs> But oh, Credit okay. One Bank, Credit One Bank, you know, is supporters of the Knights, and uh, so I've always got to do some stuff for them. So I feel like I'm, I'm cheating on my my friends a little <laughs> bit. But um, no, it's fun to to get to to support them and, and also you know cheer for the Sharks. You know, you could just leave stuff in the locker room, and then you won't feel like you're cheating. You're just planning, you know, booby traps or something. <laughs> yeah. No, I've got Stink some diehard friend or like diehard Shark friends that are Shark fans that are my friends and. Uh, yeah, they give me crap every now and then about uh, all the stuff that I got to do, you know, with the Knights and ringing the bell or the horn or whatever and doing all that stuff. But uh, the Knights games are definitely the most exciting ones to go to in hockey just because obviously we're in Vegas and the, the acts and the music and everything in there is, it's is a awesome. Yeah, it's the, the atmosphere is crazy. It is. It's fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on the show. We're so glad to have you fans. How about yeah. it? One Thanks. more time for Kyle Larson. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Fans, Kyle Larson going to be hustling out there on the track in the playoffs here. And, of course, if you remember in 2018, we kicked off the playoffs here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And let me tell you, if you remember, we put on quite a show. Let's take a look. Yeah, baby. Hang on. Way to go, guys. It's Monster Energy Cup Series Racing from Las Vegas. All right, gang. Get ready to rock and roll. Ten races left here, guys. Ten races. Drivers, start your engine! 
fired him. All is good. Ready to rip. Everybody at home, sit back, relax, and enjoy the race. It's going to be a fun one today. We're underway in Vegas. Green, 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 green. Already a fight for the lead. Logano diving to the bottom of the track in three. He'll take the spot away from Jones on lap one. Yeah, all clear, all clear. Front, right front. Right front tire, guys. Are you ready? Ten laps to go in stage one. Kyle Larson with an unscheduled stop. You can see that right front tire is flat. Two more. Two by five over them. Martin Shrex Jr. is looking to win stage one. Stage winner, MPJ, come on. Take a look at what happened here. Get across, inside, three checkers. Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, to take that spot away, and that's how tight it was. Ready, great, 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 great. Well, the 18 of Kyle Busch had to make a second trip down pit road. Get caught up and bring it back down. We had a, a issue on the left front there. <laughs> Haven't had one of those issues in quite some time. You're all clear. Four cars run the bottom, also in front of you. And a wreck just happening. You gotta be kidding me. One more clean lap. Clear by three. Another good run for Brad Keselowski, and we'll win stage two. Ready, ready, green, green, green. Right rear down. Definitely tighter. Gotta pull the fender out. Down, 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 down. Hang on to it, hang on to it. In the fence there, fellas. Oh, my shoulder, my shoulder. My shoulder. We'll get an ambulance, get an ambulance there, uh, ambulance quick. It's Kyle Dawson, Kyle Busch, into the grass. It's not gonna stay together, we're gonna f go all that down. Denny Hamlin in the grass. Hang on to it right here, hang on to it. Come on, we're done. Jimmy Johnson's got a right front tire issue. Right front flat. We got another crash. Couple of, couple of, couple of, couple of. Come on, ah! Another problem for the playoff contenders. Again, it will be an overtime finish. Inside 19 behind you, control cars at two on the bottom. Green, white checker. Brad Keselowski on the inside. Ryan Blaney on the outside. Blaney spins his tires. Watch the bottom bump. Your bumper is on your bumper, on your bumper. Keselowski, an eight car link lead already. No pressure out back. And now. Three in a row in Vegas. Keselowski. The ching, baby. Nice job. He'll win in Vegas. Great job, everybody. Heck yeah. Welcome back to NASCAR Trackside Live. Fans, what did you think about 2018 here? That was pretty wild. Action-packed for sure. I know, and it's going to be another wild one today with the South Point four, or 400. And, of course, South Point Hotel and Casino was the location for the Brendan Gone Celebrity Bowling uh, Tournament. And it actually, Amy and I got to participate in the show, yep. and we had some folks on our team and we both bowled in that as well. My team carried us. I mean, my team was fantastic. They raised a lot of great money. The person that I was also bowling with, not only did he win the 50-50 raffle, he decided to donate all of it back. So huge props to Toby for doing that also. We had a grand time all for Speedway Children's Charities. Yeah, give it up for them. They did good. Yeah, they really did. Yeah. And of course, Speedway Children's Charities raises millions of dollars across the country and all of that money here in Las Vegas goes back to local organizations that help kids, 100%. It's really, really neat. Um, yeah, and, and of course, the bowling, I had the kids carry me as well. There's Amy getting a strike, <laughs> and I got a strike you as well. Did. We got some strikes. Oh, here we go. Let's check out. Check Look at that. that. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> get it. Yeah, a little was, leg kick in there, I was pretty, everything. I pretty Jose. excited about that because uh, I didn't start out very well. But. You know, some of our top 10 qualifiers for the South Point 400 were also bowling that evening. So That's right. Yeah. yeah, so let's take a look at qualifying right now. Of course, the top 10 starting out. That's right, on the pole. We had him yesterday on our show. Clint Boyer was a hoot. And then, of course, Daniel Suarez in the number 41 in second. Man, running super fast. A ton of fans out there with Daniel's Amigos. I see him out there running around. Good to see you guys. Of course, starting third, the number four of Kevin Harvick. He's looking sharp. And then the number 10 of Eric Almarola in fourth. All top four SHR cars there here at the South Point 400. Then in fifth, the number one of Kurt Busch also in the playoffs. And then rolling off six, the number eight of Daniel Hemrick, who uh, his teammate in just a moment, we're gonna get to see him, Austin Dillon. That's right, rolling off in seventh. Then of course, Chase Elliott in eighth, and Jimmy Johnson in ninth. And finally, good to see Michael McDowell in that number 34 in 10th. So the South Point 400 gonna start this afternoon. It's gonna be a fun one. Are you guys ready for a great race this afternoon? Oh. 
If the two races earlier this week are any uh, indication, this is going to be an amazing, amazing race. So I can't wait to see it. Um, it's going to be a ton of fun. And make sure you stay hydrated, please. Drink a lot of water. Keep that sunscreen on. It's going to be a warm one, but it is going to be slickery out there, too. Just a little bit slick. It's slipping and sliding all over. You can see from last year's race, there was lots of slipping and sliding. So we know we're going to have a lot of action today. Who are you guys going for? Who do you want to win this race? Chase Elliott? Yeah? How about Kyle Busch? He was out here with us yesterday. Remember, you can watch that show back on NASCAR.com as well as YouTube. It'll be up there. Follow along NASCAR Trackside on Instagram and Twitter. We're going to hook you guys up with some, some goodies. That's right. As a matter of fact, we have a flag backstage. It says Las Vegas Motor Speedway on it that all of the guests on our show autograph that flag. And then guess what? We give it away to a lucky fan out there. So Which one of you wants it? I see the guy. Yeah. He's got his phone out right now. He's going to Twitter, and he's going to follow <laughs> at NASCAR Trackside because that's where we give away that flag. So make sure you hit us up on Twitter, at NASCAR Trackside, and you could win an autographed flag with all of our guests from this weekend here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. How about it, guys? Are you having a good time out there? Are you ready for a great South Point 400? Are you ready for more NASCAR Trackside Live? You know, this is one of my favorite tracks to come to. It really, really is. is. Yeah, the Neon Garage here is something special. Of course, you guys know that. You're part of it right now. You get a chance to see, you know, fun stuff, et cetera, here on the stage. Uh, we love it, and, and this is so cool to have the show uh, here uh, in the Neon Garage. So we're glad you guys are here and a part of it. So, Amy, what do you say we go ahead and bring out uh, our next guest and chat a little bit with him? We absolutely should because he is really diving in to NASCAR. That's right, he is. So please, NASCAR Trackside Live, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, a big round of applause for El Presidente himself, Dave Portnoy! Good to see you. You got some goodies to give out there? Yeah, I guess I throw it. That's what they told me. Yeah, yeah. So this is... El Prez. Yeah, you now have signed that and autographed it so you can throw it out to the Like fans. right now? Yes, right go now. for it. All right. And then I got like chips, but I don't know if they're real or whatnot. Hey, oh no, no, no! The, these are NASCAR Trackside Live chips. Okay, fine. yeah. Oh, Look out. at that. Those oh, are invaluable, by the way. Yeah, I know. So you got to make some noise if you want to win something, are, are right? You oh, and the shirt. shirt? <laughs> oh, the shirt. That didn't get oh, very far. <laughs> Speaking of shirts. Hey, there you go. This got some is a fans great here. Shirt you've got on. We have fire merch for this race. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. That we have this uh, this in blue. We have it in red. We got the crew shirts. We got what right there. It, it's good. We got good merch. Yeah. You it's really part do. of the fun. It like is. NASCAR shirts, you know, they're so gross that they're actually hot, <laughs> like in a good way. But there's nothing like NASCAR merch. No, nothing no, no. like it. Yeah, it's a great yeah. shirt. It's a I great agree. shirt. The Mad D shirt over there. It is. That's you know, awesome. His fire suit, uh, Matt's fire suit this race is incredible also. So I got one. Job. They made one what? for me. No way. Yeah, they made an extra fire say? suit. It has the exact, I, I don't know if it says what, does it say, I, I don't even, Demandito, how did that, how did I do that? Debena. I've said the Deno. name a thousand times and I just can't get it. What, I'm just gonna call him DB, Guido Nation. Yeah, Guido Nation, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. just stick with that. Um, I don't know if it says my name on it. I'm not gonna wear it, it's too hot. Yeah, but Today, you, yeah. I mean, he said he's wearing like ice packs around the race. Yep. Yeah, so if I have ice packs, I'll put on the fire suit. I might wear ice packs. It's, it's, you know, it's a doozy out there today. We could tell. Oh, look, we got degrees. a shot of the fire suit right there. There's, look at that. Yeah, I tweeted that out there. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. It's, it's fire. He looks good in it. It looks great in it. That's a great logo, too. The car looks great, too. What do you think? Car's fire. Everything about it's fire. I'm very excited. Good. Very excited. I saw, uh, so I was getting a coffee, and I saw Chase Elliott behind me. I told him we're going to wreck him if he gets close to us. Like, that is, that is the instructions. Is if we can't win, just, like, wreck everybody. I really hope all the sponsors take their job this seriously. Well, yeah. we're taking it very seriously. Good. It's a big race. Our well, first race. It Absolutely. is your first race. Uh, well, we our first race is sponsored. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we talked with Matt Benedetto yesterday. I got a chance to chat with him. And he was talking about how it all happened, which I've never heard this in NASCAR history of during an interview, somebody goes, I'm going to sponsor you. And boom, it happens right yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of people were like saying that I wasn't telling the truth. So I was at Bristol and he came in second there and everyone was chirping me like he lost his ride. He lost his ride. You should sponsor him. To be honest, I didn't really even totally understand what that meant or how that works. But I was like, all right, I'm interested. Now, we can't like 
you know, you, we don't have the charter or a number or anything, right. but we can put the, put the name on the car. So it came out quickly. I'm psyched. A lot of the guys I've become friends with now are, you know, racers are like chirping me. Like Clint Boyer texted me. He's like, oh, what? You're not going to sponsor me? It's like, I didn't even know I could do that. Now I want to wreck him, too. <laughs> I like it. Or you could just go around and make sure everyone gets a sticker. Everyone gets a sticker. I mean, it, it's good for racing, I think. You know, all our fans hopefully will tune in. Um, so I'm excited. It's, it's, it's a big step for Barstool. It looks really cool. It's like surreal seeing it on the car. Yeah, it looks incredible. It really yeah. does. So how's Vegas treating you? Are you enjoying it out here this time around? It's been a lot. Uh, <laughs> Vegas is always a lot. I'm getting smoked gambling, but uh, we've had fun. We got here Thursday night late, and it's been fun. It's been a good time. Yeah, I noticed that drivers and uh, now sponsors like to wear their sunglasses a lot here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and I don't think it's because of the sun. I'm just going to say maybe a little staying up late. You know? Yeah, we've been up late. The sunglasses are for a look. I like the way I look right now, but my I didn't do anything last night. Yeah. I had my ache. I'm ready. I was in bed early, so nice. I'm ready. It's, it's race day. It's race day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got to get pumped. <laughs> yeah. You got to be on for race day. What, what's been the most interesting part for you? Like you said, this is all new to you, stepping into not just being in NASCAR, but now sponsoring a car. What's been the wildest thing for you? We're like, oh, my goodness, I'm sponsoring a car, and this happened. What, what is it? I mean, it, it sounds simple, but seeing the car with our logo on it and seeing, like, the official NASCAR merch is all crazy. Um, the whole relationship, really, with NASCAR has been pretty wild because it started at Daytona. And I'd never been to a race, and I loved it. I fell in love with it, kind of. And then we did Daytona, Bristol, Talladega. Um, and those are all deals with NASCAR. This was all us. Like, this, it's great to be NASCAR, but this is all Barstool. It's like, we're going to go sponsor the car. We have this and Talladega. New paint scheme, by the way, Ooh. for Talladega. The Talladega paint scheme is is fire. Does that mean more merch? More merch. <laughs> Thank goodness. More merch. Thank goodness. The, 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 I like this paint scheme. The Talladega one, I think, is a thousand times better. A any sneak peeks? Any hints you can give us? Yeah. It's got some pizza involved in it. Ah, I'll say that. yes. Yeah, it's got some pizza involved in nice. it. Nice. So yeah. you, you had a say in some of this, is what Oh, this saying. is like my baby designing this, yeah. <laughs> we tried to do the Goodell clown car. That was our first one, and NASCAR denied it. <laughs> they said no. So it's like, oh, all right. Well, I didn't think we'd ever do it because a turquoise Goodell clown car would look awesome, um, but they said no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it gets much better than this, but I guess we'll be uh, waiting on pins and needles for Talladegas. Yeah, know, top yeah, ten. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. we need a top ten. Like we did a deal with MGM in Jersey. Like we do deals with them, so they have awesome odds to bet on them if you live in Jersey. Like I think Barstool people may get rich if we get a top ten finish today. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Well, backstage we have a guest that's been actually on one of your pizza reviews before. You you know him. You love him. Uh, it's Austin Dillon. Yeah, I took Get his on spot. Out yeah, here, yeah. Austin no, no, Dillon. come on. You, he's going to join us all up <laughs> he here as well. Take spot. Yeah, yeah. There so, he Austin Dillon, where are you? Oh, he's coming up right now. Come on, NASCAR Trackside Live. Show him some love. Hey What's there. up, Austin? Good to see you. Thanks so much. Look at the pro moves right there with the throw out the merch. I those chips last night. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. We're competitors today. I'm looking to wreck you, too. <laughs> yeah? You got to catch me first. Hey, listen, the instructions are, well, not not necessarily. If you came behind us, like yeah, you're passing us. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah. kind of like the heat <laughs> yeah, game. it could happen either way. Just turn around and go backwards. Yeah, yeah, I want noise. Like, let's <laughs> either win or make noise one way or the other. Hey, that's good advertisement, truthfully. Yeah. That's the truth. That's all it's about. Yeah. Absolutely. That is wild, too, isn't it, that that... You coming into the sport, Austin, what has been your reaction to see Dave and, and some of the chirping that he's done? Because I think it's well, been it's, fun to see. Oh, it's great. You know, um, I met Dave this year at Daytona, and I took him through uh, the infield and showed him a couple parties. He was like, oh, my gosh, this is us. And um, he tweeted something like, oh, this is like hanging out with Tom Brady before the night of a game before the 500. And that was really cool. And you can see it right away. The Boston market jumped for us as soon as we hooked up with these guys at Barstool. So we're thankful uh, for the partnership, and he's been great for our sport. He loves it, man. I mean, it's cool that we're doing more on the gambling side, too, now. I mean, I think NASCAR's embraced that, and that, that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. It is, and it, it, it's like one of those things where our crowd, I'm a northern kid, so, I mean, NASCAR, we didn't have it growing up, but you go to it, and you love it. I remember when I first met him, I and, and no offense to Austin, because I wasn't into NASCAR, but he jumped, he's like, hey, let me show you around Daytona. I didn't know who he was, and people are asking for autographs, and we're at Daytona, and finally someone's like, do you know he like won last year at Daytona? I'm like, what are you talking about? What world am I in? So it's cool, the drivers, all of them have been super nice, and they welcomed us. That's the number one thing we get. It's like people think I'm kind of faking it. 
if you know me well enough, I would not come back like twice. I don't fake it. I, I love it. It's, it's, it's great. I think, I think your enthusiasm shows. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I mean, does. you're on Hopefully. a car. We are on a car. <laughs> so there's that. There is that. So, Austin, you've been busy here in Vegas as well. I saw that you also did a little bit of shopping last night for Pop Yeah, Pop. my grandfather, you know, he's, um, he's pretty set in his ways on the jeans that he wears. I mean, he's old school. His jeans will stand up on their own. And um, it's hot out here, and I'm just feeling for him. And I was like, man, I'm going to try and find you. Like, if you're going to wear long pants and it's going to be that hot, and you're, he stands out in the heat. He's like one of the last owners that stays out. Doesn't have to. He just sits in the sun and watches us go in circles. And I'm like, I, I think I can get you some pants that are a little bit cooler. So I went to Bass Pro Shops and found some lighter, like, fishing Columbia-style pants. I brought them, and, I was like, and my wife's like, he, he's not going to take his, like, pants and change them. He's rocking them right now. No so we'll way. see. I think he's, I mean, these are really cool. I'm like, yeah, you can, you can wear long pants, but maybe these will breathe a little better, man. I don't want you going down on me. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. The world is going backwards, not wearing jeans at a NASCAR race. That's going to be. Is he wearing the cowboy boots with him? Oh, the cowboy boots are with uh, the long pants, so you'll nice. see him. Nice. <laughs> so what you're saying I, I, the next move is trying to get him to shorts. That'll never happen. <laughs> never, never. But you're pretty on your fashion game, though. So if he's going to listen to anybody, it should be you. Uh, my wife's more on that stuff, but I, I, from time to time, I like shoes. Yeah. I'm a big shoe guy, so. What you got on today? Uh, these Ooh. are Adidas Super Boosts. I like those. Yeah. These are nice. Very yeah, nice. looking good. Well, well, guys, we put together a little trackside top ten that we do. Here's what we do. It's rapid fire, and since you're both here, we're going to ask you both to answer this question. So real quick answer, yep. short question, and we're going to go through these ten questions. So you guys ready to play? Sure. All right, okay. Cool. Great. Amy's going to kick us off. All right. Who's your favorite superhero? Hulk. Superman. Nice. It. Good answers. All right. What was your nickname in high school? A.D.? <laughs> Just port, last name, port. Port, nice. All right, your drink of choice. Ah, uh, Jack and Coke. Nice. Pink Whitney. A Pink Whitney. What it, is this? That pink sounds like Whitney. my wife's name, bro. <laughs> it's a Pink Whitney. Oh. What is a Pink Whitney? Pink Whitney is a little pink lemonade, little vodka, hockey drink, also a bar stool drink. Oh, oh. Nice. All right. you can find it in your local. I guess they have it here at like uh, Walmart or something. But yeah, it's new. <laughs> it's the hottest drink in the country. No joke. Say it one more time. A pink Whitney. Okay. So it's Ryan Whitney who works for us. Last name Whitney. His drink of choice is a pink Whitney, and we made the drink. Got it. I love it. The pink Whitney. All right. Favorite TV show that you watch that maybe pe people wouldn't think that you watch. Like maybe you're a Housewives guy, or you watch something on the side. You know, is there a TV show that you watch? that, you know, maybe you kind of do secretly. I'll let Dave go first on this I'm one. I'm trying to think. I don't. I, I watch, I, everything I watch, I think people will be like, oh, Dave definitely watches that. I don't watch anything hidden. I don't intend to watch this, but it's on my TV at home every now and then. And it's, because uh, it's on record for my wife. It's Kardashians. I can't, not, I, I try to change the record button, and it's like every episode is on. I'm like, geez, so I just go to the barn and watch sports. Sports. <laughs> Sports. Let's go sports. Go sports. All right, uh, karaoke song. Brandy, you're a fine girl. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Garth that Brooks. will burn the place down if you play it. <laughs> it's always like, whoa, I like that guy. Garth Brooks, friends in low places. Nice. Basic. Uh, Be more of a basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so basic. All right, I can do Eminem. Ah, there you go. Stepping it up. There you go. All right, so you got a weekend off uh, Saturday morning. What's your go-to breakfast? I'm, I'm traditional. I was like two scrambled eggs, hash browns, toast, bacon. I think they call it the American at a hotel. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Uh, just a Western omelet, coffee. Nice. nice. Good. Like all right. The best movie of all time is? Ooh. Yeah. Top Gun's good, but I'm going to remember the Titans. Ah, nice. also very good. Yeah. Probably going Rocky. Ooh. Or Jaws. I'm a big Jaws guy, too. <laughs> Rocky and Jaws. I like that. All right, so you're shipwrecked on a desert island. You can only bring two things with you, not food or water. What two things would you bring with you on the island? Oh, I like what Austin's thinking already. I, I, whatever he's thinking, I need to hear it now. <laughs> two items? Yeah, two things. What do you bring? A girl and a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Is a woman an item? <laughs> she it said things. things. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I get well, then, then you kind of messed that up for me. I got to go with my wife and um, my dog. Oh, yeah, got to have your dog. 
How is Gucci, by the way? Gucci's Gucci, man. She's just chilling, <laughs> waiting for uh, us to get back home. She didn't get to come out and make the trip to Vegas. Oh. Well. Yeah, she's with uh, her, uh, I guess, grandparents. I'm sure she's having a great time. Yes, she's chilling. I got a picture of her on the couch today. She snores, so French Bulldogs, man. They do snore. All right, Amy, you're up next. Oh, I am? Okay. Um, okay, so in the movie of your life, who would you cast to play you? Duh, Bradley Cooper. Um. <laughs> Chris Pratt. Nice. Uh, yeah, all right, I can see that. I would all watch right. both of those movies. Yeah, I know, I would watch both of those movies. Uh, Favorite game that you played as a kid? Like, you know, dodgeball or kick the can or something fun you played as a kid? I like ping pong, man. I don't know if it's a kid game, but I still play it. I guess dodgeball, too, before I threw my arm out. So, I was a huge Monopoly guy. I play 10 hour streaks like everyone gets in a fight. You don't know how the game ends, but I love Monopoly. <laughs> I've never played a game of Monopoly. Wow. Well, well, first of all, it's, it takes 10 hours to play one yeah, game of Monopoly. Yeah, it gets confusing on what you do with your property at the end, and everyone just starts pointing the finger at each other. What's the game where you uh, you punch each other and the head pops up? Rock'em Sock'em. Rock'em Sock'em. Rock rock sock that was pretty good. That was yeah, a yeah. good one. That Maybe was a good one. bring that back. Yeah, we should do that here on the show. Well, you know what? Next time, we'll have you guys on. We'll do a little Rock'em Sock'em <laughs> Robots. That's Down? a good idea. Because that's you know, kind of like a NASCAR race, but in a small game, right? I don't hate you know? that. <laughs> yeah. We should definitely do that. Yeah, I yeah, also yeah. am thinking like the sumo suits. I want we need to add that oh, to our props yeah. list also. Done. Producer at sumo suits. Sumo to the suits show. and rock'em sock 'em robots. We're gonna happen. All right. So Dave, where are you watching the race from? And Austin, do you have any pointers for him from I'm where watching watch the race from the race car. No, no, no. <laughs> Dave, oh. but oh, where, sorry. where where should Dave watch the race from? Like cause there's cool spots, you know. Dave's like a vet now, man. He's been a little bit everywhere. So uh, Vegas, um, He's probably going to watch where he can watch multiple angles of different sports games because he's probably got a couple lines out today, a couple different hotels. I don't know. Where are you going to watch from? I mean, are you going pit, pit stall for like two minutes, then going to a front of a TV and some air conditioning, a little bit of food? Yeah, I think uh, a combo. I, I generally bounce around, so every track's a little bit different. But, yeah, I'll be down wherever they let me. I don't know. I get led around wherever I go. Do you know there's a, there's a pool up at turn four? You know what? I'm not big into Vegas pools. I don't trust them. That's I don't go in the water. <laughs> That's fair. That's very fair. That's very fair. Plus, as he mentioned, the TVs for the football games. Yeah, you got to have a little bit of everything. Sundays are the best day, man. Yep. Love Sundays. Especially yep. now football is back on, too. NASCAR, yep. football, it's, it's great. Quick update. I think the Patriots are up 37 nothing. <laughs> 43 nothing. Another day at the office. You're playing oh, a high man. school game today. Well, we do have six Super Bowls. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. All right, so do you and have a goat? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a speech written out for Matt De Benedetto, like something that you're gonna like inspire him with? Yeah, no. I, like I said, I think there's gonna be a lot of like go fast, a lot of like, hey, just go fast, and a lot of if we can't win, don't be afraid to wreck somebody. Yeah. Yep. Last time you did the breakdown for Landon Castle, so I was yes. wondering if you'd practiced since then. Well, I screwed that one up. They yeah. caught me off guard with the breakdown. Um, I haven't practiced, but I won't. I won't be that bad again. I was really bad for that. It's okay. Yeah, you held on to that for a minute. You held on to that for a minute. I was bad. I <laughs> caught me off guard. Usually I'm quick on my feet. I was not right there. I love it. I that's love okay. It. That's all right. Uh, so, uh, Austin, I know we've heard that Clint Boyer actually texted Dave and said, hey, why are you not sponsoring me? Who are the drivers talking about? You know, why is I didn't it know Marston? I was going to see him today. I'm pretty pissed, truthfully, that he's not on my car either. But it's okay. I plan on beating his car today. To, to be honest, I didn't know how it worked. Like, I didn't know you could just be like, hey, I want to sponsor it. Now, I'm glad we got Matt. But the reason it started was, like, he lost his ride. So that's what started it. I didn't know I could just call somebody up and be like, yo, I want to sponsor your car. I thought it was all booked. I assume it is. I don't know how it works. I'm new to this. He just went with the people's champ currently right now. You know? That's exactly that's a the people's part. driver. Are you saying that there's a chance, or would you want him on your car now? Oh, we're definitely not scared on the three car. Okay. I mean, come on, guy. Like Maybe we'll it. do like recruiting we'll trips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, what like, would a see recruiting where we end trip up. look like for NASCAR drivers? See who we end up on next year. Yeah, I mean oh, the season's kind of winding down, right? Yeah. <laughs> got ten, ten races. Yeah. Ten, ten races to go. Left. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of races, you've got to get to one right now. Drivers' meetings coming oh, we on. We do. Up. Yeah. Is so it an inside or? Oh, it's it's. We got a tent right this year. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Driver That's intros nice, is going to be right here. I know. So we're going to send you on your way. All right. Thank you. You got a busy day ahead of you, but good luck today. Cool. 
Yeah, you're staying with us. That's Dave. what I was about to ask. Hey, so thank like, you so much, Austin. Don't worry, I'll One more time, give it up for Austin Dillon. Come on. You know what, Amy? I think we talked about this earlier. As part of being a sponsor, your job is to now introduce your driver. So bring him out to the stage. Let me hear your best. So we got Maddie here. D right here, the people's driver. Come on out. I'm not going to butcher the last name again. <laughs> I love it. Come on out. I love the slow walk, it's too. Nice He's got the slow, slow walk. Take your time. No pressure. That's a great shirt, too. <laughs> hey. You've got some goodies to throw out. All Matt, the Benedetto stuff. You want to get your hands on these shirts, too, because they're going to go quickly, I think. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Good choice. Perfect. I like how, notice how he calls his shot. He's like, you over there, get it. Look at that. Nice job. Oh, some oh, poker chips. Oh, we got chips. some poker chips, yeah. Ooh. Heck yeah. All right. All right, we're good now. We distributed all the merchandise. Perfect. How you doing, Matt? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. It's great to see you. How did Vegas treat you? Is Vegas it good? Is Man, good. we love it. Yeah. Good? Yeah, it's fun. I saw the airport pizza review. Best airport pizza you ever had in your life? That, that was, was in New good. York, but yeah, that wasn't bad. Oh, that was in New yeah, York. Yeah, that, was, oh, okay. that was not bad airport pizza. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. We got someone out there actually making a homemade pizza. I'm going to go do it in a little bit. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, first oh. time. Ah, uh -huh, first They're time. They're like grilling it. They're making a pizza on a grill. That's oh, awesome. a camper? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, that's really awesome. Cool. Well, well you, you know what? We have something special for you, so let's go ahead and bring it on out here. We know both of you guys oh, like food and like pizza, so what do you think, fans? You want to do a little taste test right here? Come that on. sound good? Oh. So here, this is a Vegas Motor Speedway special. It's Naked City Pizza Shop. It's right behind us right here, so it's hot and fresh for you. And then we've also got a little bit of a... Vegas local tr uh, track treats. That looks awesome. Yeah, so yeah. here's what we got right here. Right right here, this is a prime rib on a pretzel bun with bacon and onion jam and horseradish wow. cream. And then we have a Texas toast pulled pork cheddar uh, with some sauces here. So Low calorie, too. Yeah, yeah, totally, calorie. totally. I don't know, are we trying to like make him have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the race? I don't know <laughs> that, like, I like what's going on right now. It's just one bite, though, right? It yeah. is one bite, I mean. What do you want to Which start with? Do? Yeah. Uh, man, this is the expert here. Well, I'll do the pizza. All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's do, do it. Let's all go our, in here. Come our on. very first NASCAR Trackside Live pizza review. And yeah. where is this? This is right Naked behind City you. So right. it's we got to keep Naked in mind, City. I guess this is it's track, track Naked food. City Pizza Shop. So yeah. right behind us. And they may be listening if they're right behind <laughs> yeah. us. That's right. So you do one bite right. and you go score it. It's actually not horrible. Yeah. We're keeping in mind we're at the racetrack. Not a fancy Italian restaurant. No, you gotta keep that in mind. Yeah. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Jose's taking your lines mm -hmm. now. Does that, that doesn't change your scale. You still rate, like, the scale stays the same. When I travel, I tend to do uh, higher scores. Whoa. Oh, a little wind there. What do you got? What's the score? Um, keep it in mind, it's a track pizza, so it's good. But uh, I give it a. 5.6. Guido Nation went low. Uh, <laughs> and the win. I actually got a little better. I'm going to go 6-1. Okay. That's also why we want him. He's the only Italian driver on the thing. <laughs> yeah. So it's like we do the pizza. I, have, Guido I love Nation. my pizza. All made sense. 6-1, 5-6. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think, I Amy? love it. I'm going to go 6-2. I was going to say 6-5. Like I, yeah. Yeah. The track piece yeah. is not bad. Yeah, and I'm rating like my 910s is the best, most authentic Italian pizza. Right. So yeah. I think it's a fair review. This is good track pizza. If I'm hungry, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to go over there, grab me some pizza, and down it. And, I like and how you didn't go call to the high. bathroom in the middle of the race, you know, whatever <laughs> I got to do. I like <laughs> Hopefully it. not. Most people get intimidated and give higher scores. That was a good score. It was. Mean. I was. Should All we right. move over to the track specials? So we have, uh, again, the prime rib. I assume that's some kind of Philly cheesesteak on a pretzel roll there. And then we got the Texas uh, toast with the pulled pork on it. So what do you want, Matt, Matt? You want to bite of something? What do you want? Uh, what were these? What's this one? So it's a prime, prime rib, rib and then pulled pork. Yeah, I'm getting a. Oh, nice. That's man. a good call. This can't be. I, like, I wouldn't advise this as like your sponsor, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll go for the pulled now. pork here. I I'm will say go. that all the fans out here at Vegas Motor Speedway, you guys are in for a treat. This food is great out here That's today. That's really good. Yeah. It's all good. The pizza actually is pretty good too. I like the pizza. 
Damn. I'm a big fan. Well, thanks to Levy Restaurants for putting this That's out That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it is good. Better than I expect from yeah. like any like game yeah. track food. Yeah, that's not bad. Who wants a piece of pizza? Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like All right. Yeah, Hang we're going to share some pizza Do you want to just pass the box down there? No, they're getting my dirty hands. Oh, uh, they get dirty hands. Yeah. I'm going to see who's really a fan. <laughs> I've got my hands on it and all. Yeah, as a sponsor, right this, here. Is, this is like pizza. fully integrated. People you're, meeting. You're yeah, I love it. Pizza. I love it. There's actually a full <laughs> pot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, he's got the T-shirt and everything already. He oh, deserved nice. a piece of pizza. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Well, thank you so much for, for doing that, for taking the time to do that. Yeah. I know what you think. So. Easy. Yeah. Well, that's kind of his job. It is. Yeah. We eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> kind of we a eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> Has your pizza intake gone up now that he's on the car? I actually watch him. I've been watching uh, pizza reviews and following for a long time, so this is no new thing. So that's why I knew, like, I kind of know your scale. Yeah, you kept it real. I didn't want to be a rookie and be like, oh, it's good. I get nervous and be like, it's an eight. Yeah. Boy, you know, Most you, guests go way too high. Yeah. That was yeah, no, so, that uh, was the real deal. Yeah, well, I forgot what your question was. You just asked me a question. Wondering I if your pizza intake's gone up. You oh, eat oh, pizza. oh. So this is a good story. You were doing, my wife and I were sitting on the couch, and you did a pizza review. I just, on Instagram, I look, and I was like, sounds pretty good. And I showed my wife, Taylor, like, Damn, now I'm craving pizza. And we yep. ordered a pizza from our, we have a really good place that's three minutes from our house. I was like, all right, fire, you want some pizza? Yeah, it's nine o'clock at night. Yeah, let's order one real quick before pizza they close. Pizza everywhere benefits yeah. from you. I'm great for the that? pizza industry. I make people <laughs> yeah. want pizza, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And great for NASCAR. We're so glad that you're here. Glad South Point 400. Absolutely. Yeah. Fans, give it up for Matt Benedetto racing today in the Barstool Sports Car. Dave Portnoy, give it up one more time for him. Thanks so much for coming out to NASCAR Track Tide Live. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the race. Have a great race today. Thank you for being a part of the sport. Fans, one more time, give a big round of applause for Matt DiBenedetto and Dave Portnoy. Fans, we'll see you out at the Roval. Enjoy the South Point 400. Have a great day out there.